have a torp to launch off the other side. I'm gonna hit us. Oh, he missed. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I couldn't see the wake of that, and oh my goodness. That's brilliant. Oh, another one. Yes, 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 yes. This is it. We got him. We have him. That's it. Great job. We absolutely have him. And we're going to have... That's it. We got the diamond. Welcome back everyone. It is absolutely amazing and super to be back. And we're back with Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And it looks like there's been a small hotfix that's come out. Uh, fix some bugs with save battles, fine tuning, auto targeting at close range. And fix an occasional problem in the mission. Sync the raiders in which the transports could spawn too close. We're not actually doing the missions at the moment. We are in a campaign and are we loving it? I'm loving it. What a battle or naval battle sim this is. Um, it is ultimate. It's absolutely ultimate. Let's get into our campaign. We, in our last uh, episode, we came out victorious again uh, against the British. Now, we're the Germans. I'm not playing too, uh, uh, let's say, realistic or historical or anything like that. I'm just having fun and exploring the campaign as this is an early access game. But uh, if you come over here, so we're on our main, we've got a battle to come straight into, which is going to be fun. Uh, but on the last episode, yes, we came out victorious again on a battle with two light cruisers sunk to zero sunk by, of ours sunk. So really good. Um, absolutely fantastic. So here we go. So a bit of an update. Obviously money's slowly running low, but our crew pool is up. We're getting very close uh, to our ship yard increase which is going to allow us to get bigger ships um, as soon as that's done though we're going to really pump this up we're going to really put some extra into that we uh a crew we did increase the crew training we did, did increase the tech budget and our transport capacity is a bit of a worry uh, so we've got it quite high to recover but we're running low there uh research wise we a bit of an update we are moving along quite nicely boilers are, are, are coming along nicely we're on fire control systems and turret uh sort of the reload times so that's what that's going to help so we're trying to increase that we'll see where we'll go from here but we'll leave that at the moment we did create a few other ships we got the, the torpedo boat platypus where we loaded an extra i think we can actually go into it and have a quick look we loaded up uh, an extra torpedo tube. So now we've got two torpedo tubes. We'll see what happens. Uh, again, we really need to increase this size. I'd like to have three lots on and we can get double and triple uh, torpedo tubes as we get more tech. So we'll just jump out of that. Uh, and we'll just go have a look at our fleet and see where we're going with all our production. So we're waiting for the big wombat. Uh, the wombat battleship or first series of the Wombat class battleship. Now, it's not going to be anything super. We It's probably just got a little bit better armor, but that's about it. But uh, what we're really looking forward to is the torpedo uh, equipped heavy and light cruisers, which are coming along nicely as well, because we really need to get those ones smashing out. So we're not going to do any designing. We're going to jump in, get a few turns done, and see if we uh, can outmaneuver the British again. If you have a look here with our victory points, we are currently ahead. And that's because we've won the last few battles. So we have got two battles. Nice even match. Or oh, probably they've got... Uh, the British have a lot. Probably more tech uh, increased or advanced ship battleship there. Uh, but it's also a lot bigger. So probably bigger guns on there. But everything else is quite a straightforward matchup. Or we've got the convoy... This one's probably a bit more of a match. So we're going to take two light, but just remember both of these lights just have guns on the front. And that's going to be pretty heavy. And six transport ships. You know what? I'm going to go into the main battle, the big battle. 
and see how we go. Let's get it started. Alrighty. Where are they? Where are they? We all ask. They are in the north, northwest. So we're going in the right direction. And we've got our ship. So I'm going to pretty much take control of all these ships. And we're going to get straight into punching some holes through their armor. Now I'm guessing, yep, we've got a lot of these. This class of ship i really want to get rid of these and as we build new ones and they just don't like the tyrant placement and we've got what do we speed at 16. so pretty much what we've got to worry about like always is the sneaky uh british ships have pretty much all torpedoes let's speed it up till we find the enemy You're a slower one as well, so are you different? Ah, um, that's a heavy. Okay. And you're the battleship. Okay, so you, you two. Oh, here we go. Let's slow us down. We are going to go straight in. They're going to really try to take our battleship out quite quickly. So let's close it in because we have got... I would say that's their battleship. I could be wrong. Could be their heavy. We've already been hit. Let's get the full, let's open up on them fully because uh, they're opening up on us pretty full on at the moment so you've got smoke which i'll load up once you speed up and get ahead we could go after the light but no we're going after the heavy aren't we we should open up all our turrets we are on fire all right we have got a nice position here What's happening? You're going to be worried about hitting him, aren't you? Not what we want. We decided to go after the uh, heavy instead. Very fast battleship. We're on fire like crazy. Alright. We are in trouble. Let's just go, go, go. I'm hoping. We got battle. Oh. They're all after this light cruiser at the moment, and they're absolutely smashing me to pieces. Got to get ready. We're only packing nine inch guns. Missing every time. You're in a lot of trouble.
dead in the water. We're going to lose the light cruiser. You know what? It's not going to be the end of the world, as I don't like these cruisers. Let's see if we can damage or we sink. I'm gonna send some torpedoes at us. We can just see it. As expected. First torpedo missed. Now the battleship's going to be after us. We are relying on trying to sink. It's going to have another torp if we don't uh, put some damage into it. That's what we wanted. Going to have a torp to launch off the other side. It's going to hit us. Oh, he missed. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I couldn't see the wake of that, and oh my goodness. That's brilliant. Let's finish him. We need to sink you. Come on. I'm going to try to stay away from that battleship because we'll be eaten alive. But even if we get this light cruiser, we might even bug out. Good job, Atlantis. Come on, let's slow it down. I want to get in before that battleship comes back to us. turn as soon as we take this All right, let's turn let's go we got nine inch and what have you got you got eleven this battleship's been Let's bug out this way. Might go and finish off. Because you're going to get quite damaged. We are already quite damaged. We are at 62% structural damage. That was lucky. Alright, they're not aiming for him now. Let's go and take him out. We can increase your speed. Got no torpedoes left, so let's go finish him off. Bug out. Ouch. 
Oh, it's got flooding. Nice shot. Nice shot. You. Oh, how much? Oh, that's a huge amount of flooding. That's brilliant. Can we last and keep him on target? pump it out though, but if we could put some more holes into him. Alright, how are we going? We've got you more flooding as well. Good to have you. Get all guns blazing. Oh, another one. Yes, 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 yes. This is it. We got him. We have him. That's it. Great job. We absolutely have him. And we're going to have the second ship too. Couldn't have an issue sinking this. We did damage his... Uh, let's start uh, firing up up there for a moment. down. Ooh. Wow, he's got some 12 inch guns, yep. Let's have a look at him giving us a salvo. We sunk his, oh no, that's the other one. Alright, here we go. Let's see what it all looks like. We're about to launch against us. Here we go. Woo -wee. Now we got. We have him. He will go down fighting, but he's finished. Another one. All done. He's got a team of people on those pumping, pumping that water out. Those bulkheads are doing the job. They're meant to be doing. Ah, you gotta, you gotta bug out, bug out, bug out. That's it. Get out of there. Damn. On. Gotta just get out of here. Go, go, go. That's it. We got the diamond. Now we've got to protect our battleship while we retreat. We'll see how well that works out. But uh, I think we've got a chance of retreating here. He is quite far away. What is he at the moment? Yeah, 5k's away. What is his speed? Uh, 18 knots. So it's not even as fast as my... No, is my heavy. Sorry, he's faster than my heavy. Definitely faster than my battleship. But he's going in the opposite direction. Time to bail out. Nice battle. One. Nice and quick. Got the upper hand. Let's see if we can hold off. Gonna... Increase the speed. But he seems to want to bug out as well. That's it. And there we have it. Another victory. But we have a very heavy, heavy battleship. And I'm thinking of, instead of repairing it, 
we may scrap it. Let's have a look. Okay, so again, victory, more points. We are moving up on the ladder. Uh, let's quickly go to fleet. Before we move on to that next mission, I will have a quick look at that repair. So we could scrap. Selecting this ship. I haven't done this before. Select a ship, press scrap to quickly remove it of your fleet. This action helps remove absolute ships. Use a crew for more. Okay, scrapping also provides a small amount of profit according to the ship's displacement. Maybe we repair it just so we've got one in the water. What else? Okay. Uh, we can get. No, we've got you in sea control. Where are you? Select the port. Oh, these haven't got a port yet. We'll work that out when they're built. Uh, we need more. Yeah, don't we? When you got two ships here, so we might put you in there. And in bean in bean in bean So they're all out there coming on board. The in B, we can put you out to see control. So I'm just making sure there's ships out and about. Plenty, 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 plenty. Okay, but obviously them out and about does cost money. Let's get the next one done and finish this. So far, we are up on the enemy with a nice win there so this one's a bit heavier so sorry a bit tougher so we're against a heavy with two light cruisers and again i hate these cruisers these aren't any of the ones that we've built these are very lightly armored So we just jump back in there, everybody. I he has absolutely smashing us to pieces, but he had a bit of an accident. He ran straight into two of our ships sinking here, and as you can see, he's now dead in the water. He'll finish us. He'll finish all our ships off for sure. Oh, well, one's going to get away, um, but uh, it's going to give us a chance because until he pumps that water out, which he will. But you can see he's lost two engines at the moment and he's got a rudder damage and ship is currently flooded at the moment but we're in range aren't we or are we We aren't in range. Yes, we are in range. Why aren't we firing up? Starting up his engines. We'll do a quick pass and then we'll bug out. Oh, he's going to hit again. Uh, you'll just make it. Putting out a torp. And he's finished. 
but that's all right one less no torps left for us and that's sunk all right so we got one away we are now we survive somehow that's it finished okay these guys are going to be We're going to get ready to run. We can run. He's got no torps left. Don't we'll worry about those. If we had torps now, we would be able to finish him with these fast-moving lights. But we're okay. We're going to see if we can take him. Otherwise, we're going to bug right out like now. He's bugging out. Hit him from the rear guns. At least allow us to run in case he puts some holes into us. Alright, fire up. Come on, you can fire up. And where he's concentrating on this ship. So I am hoping as we Ooh, fire, come on. You've got to hit, you've got to hit. I know it's going to be hard. Five inches against the heavy. We might get lucky. All right, we're bugging out. That's it. Oh, we did some damage. Brilliant. So we got defeated. That's going to hurt. So let's have a look where that leaves us uh, in the world. So it hasn't had a massive impact. So we're going to end the turn there. Five transport ships in the sea, North Sea. Okay. So in the North Sea, if we go to our fleet. We need to probably get some more ships out there in the North Sea. Uh, and while we're at it, we'll have a look at where our status is. 77% on the big wombat. Okay, we can head off to the next. Or do I put a couple more ships? We did. We did, we did, we did. But we want to get... Where are we at? We're at 89%. We really want this to push up for our bigger ships. I don't think we've... Uh, what have we researched? Completed, compare of CAs... Complete a repair, complete a repair, completed the repair. Discovered new technology. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to come over here. We're going to bring our tech budget up to 80%. We are also going to just have a view of what we have with our ship designs. No, 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 no. Go here, new design. Just quickly having a quick flick of if we've... Alright, nothing new. And gun-wise... Well, we don't have the... We don't have the, um... Displacement to do these big guns. Unfortunately. It's already 9,000 right there. I do want some 12 inches out there because the British have them. So let's just, uh, get rid of you. All right, let's go through one more turn. No battles to be had. No battles to be had. Look at this for Eagle. Pretty much spot on at the moment. Oh, shipyard size. We have done it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Naval funds. We have the funds. We're just going all out. Let's build it. Okay, so we can now quickly have a quick look at what we can do. We do now have a bigger ship. Here we go. So now, Wombat class number two.
What do we got weight wise? Weight wise, we probably want him to sit around. If we can get him to about here, would be nice. I know bulkheads. Let's bring him down to many. Range is fine. Only leave us with 7,000. So when you throw up a couple of towers, for example, let's just throw these up. See if we end up doing it or not. Some light ones. And we're already sitting at eight. Throw on a, say, a medium funnel. There. So we're already sitting. Oh, let's move that into there. Get rid of you. Um, and if we want to try to put a 12 inch on the front, if it can be done. Not wrong one. Uh... We want centerline guns. We will be at 9,000. And that would put us pretty much at capacity. It is going to be our biggest ship, isn't it? Let's have a quick look. We don't have any 12 inch guns. I used to do that one. The Wombat has 10 inches. So you have two, two, two singles. Okay. Do we go with something like that? With a battleship on the Wombat class? Do we put a bit more speed in? We're really not going to be able to get any deck guns or anything. Or do we drop them down to 11 inch guns? Which might be the smarter way to go. So that saves quite a bit of... Not a hit. What was the difference? To 650. I, mean, I said there is a difference. Uh, so that gives us some capacity to either get... We could throw torpedo tubes. At least a torpedo tube on them. We could go and run into them. Uh, what are they? What are their weights? Oh no, we can't put... Yes, we can. We can put... They're 23. 23 tons. All right, and what about six inches? They're 77. So we could do these. We'd rather get, so, all right, or we can do secondary six inches. Because there's no way of doing. Let's just go side guns. Let's go nine to the smallest, and they're 266. These would be nice. Do I do this? We could get two of these. Nine inches in here, right? No, we couldn't. That would be very interesting indeed. They are going to be useless. But, ah, we're overweight. All right. They were nine inch guns. They're really good. Um, we go single line. Still going to give us another. Oops. Let's try. Or we go multiple sixes. We can do quite a few. We've still got some spare. I might rotate them. How do we rotate? Uh, there we go. Alright. And... Then we will get these case and throw those. They're just a bit more protected. Put them on the upper structure. Then I am thinking now, can we get secondary, main secondary one? Let's get you nice and big. All right. And secondary two. Yes. And why not? This could be quite nice. And let's, 
obviously we're not going to be able to do that. We've still got many. Uh, why did you go back down to... Six? Now we'll keep you at that. Can we increase your speed? You know what, let's increase the armor. Still a fast battleship for what, what we've got. Got iron plates. Uh, compound armor made of two different layers. The front layer is hard, but it's brutal. Okay. Compound. We can't really do anything here. So we've got that there. But we now are overweight. So that is good for engine damage and ammo detonation. Or do we? Because if we do that, we, if we lost, we're only saving 50. So we'd have to lose some sh We take 2.5 resistance, hull weight, armor cost, armor strength 2.5. Or this, 35% armor strength. So that's going to be better than that. So we've got to lose some weight. Now, if we go down to 20, or do we go down to a little bit less? Oh, 7,000, eight, seven. All right, now, now we're cooking. It's not going to have the range. Not a big problem because most things are close to home. I think that's what we're doing. I think this is it. This is it. And we might be able to throw up. A, what have we got? 32 tons. No, we can do a 4 inch. 10 tons, but where would we put it? These are big guns. Um, I suppose we can do that. Why can't we do that? We do it that way. All right, or we go three inches. They're 32, can't do that. Oh yeah, we can do a few of these. Five inch. I'll put these anywhere else. Not really. All right, we'll just put them in here. Find it hard. There's probably a grid I could do. I think that's about right. Okay. So now it is time. Oh, no, it's the battleship, isn't it? So this is going to be 1 bats 2 Alrighty, we have the wombat class 2 in action Only one engine we've got at the moment Save the design Thank you very much Could edit after you make them anyway so that is one oh, whoa, 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 whoa. it's not a battleship is it no it is a battleship yes but what are we speed of him yeah so 17 so what an upgrade 
Same sort of uh, mileage. Oh, it's a little bit more on the other. Or faster. Same bulkheads. We've got better armor. This is looking good. This is this is good. And we've got 11 inch guns compared to 10 inch guns. All right, good, fantastic. Let's finish the episode up. Exit construction. We're gonna put two of these and these have two. So what I wanna do here is go to Wombat class, Battleship. We are gonna put two of these in. We are now going to just double check how many Wombat classes are we building? It's Wombat 2. We're only building one Wombat 1. Okay, cool. Not a problem. All right. And then uh, maybe we don't have any battles here, so we can pretty much go into next turn. British lost to transport. Good. Nice and equal still. Nothing to battle. What have we got? German finished construction of one ship and finished construction of second ship. So lights. But uh, British are really smashing them out at the moment. We've just lost two transports. Where's our fleet? Uh, we've got ships. We're probably going to have to do. So we're going to finish it here. And we're going to put some more ships in the water. But uh, we are going to quickly put... We've got lots in bean here. We're going to have to put a lot of these out to sea. Because our ships are getting smashed. Our transport ships. You're back. You can come out. You can come out. And what else have we got? Sea control. So there's a lot there. A lot. Of, okay. World finances. And we are down a bit. Okay. Crew pool is low because we've just put a couple more ships to. So that's where we're going to have issues when these all these ships start coming online. The amount of uh, sailors we've got. We'll sum it up there and that is awesome. Can't wait to do uh, a couple more turns and see where we get uh, for the next battles. But like always, thanks again, everybody. If you're enjoying the series, please smash that like and subscribe button. I appreciate all the support. Uh, it's been absolutely fantastic and a big thank you to all the supporters. Uh, I know I'll be a bit past my 300, but I hit the 300 and absolutely wrapped. I didn't not think I'd get uh, to the 300. So thank you very much. And I'm on the out. Uh, I'm looking out for some new uh, games uh, in all all scenarios or all categories. So if you have something that you might want me to play uh, around what I'm playing, so construction or naval warfare or any sort of warfare games uh, or simulations, um, yeah, yeah, shout out. And um, I'll see if I can pick them up and uh, give them a playthrough. Thanks all. And I'll see you all on the other side.